What's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install a .apk Android application on a virtual device or an emulator device. Um, I have a Pixel uh, running right here and if we pop open the search functionality, I am just going to look for the YouTube app and as you can see, it's not installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the YouTube app on this emulator. Uh, once you install an app on the emulator, it is sticky. It'll stick uh, in that emulator if you boot it up or power it down. So it's kind of there for, for good. Um, so let's get started. Um, step number one is to find the .apk file. Um, there are a bunch of websites that mirror .apk files. So let's just Google YouTube APK for Android. Okay, um, there is a site called APK Mirror um, that is, seems to be fairly reputable. Um, so let's just search for YouTube and see what comes up here. Okay, so what we want is, we want the author to be Google Inc. Um, it seems this is the most recent one. It's recent as of today. So let's take a look at it. Um, here on this site, the APKs um, might differ slightly. Um, so if we look down at what's available, you know, we can just see there's different versions and there's different release dates on these. And also, um, you, need a con you, need a, uh, you do need to consider the architecture of your phone. Um, so that is something to consider as well. Um, let's see here. Okay, so I, I happen to know that for this device, uh, we want the x86 version. Um, for most apps, you don't really need to, for most apps, you won't need to consider the, uh, the architecture. Um, but for this YouTube app, they specify a slightly different app given the architecture. So we can take that into consideration here and let's download, this is very recent as of April 19th. Let's download this APK. So again, we're on APK mirror and we're downloading the APK. Now this could be an APK, you know, you generate if you're developing your app or you could have um, acquired the APK via some other method. I'm just showing this um, as an example here. Um, to show you how to install like YouTube, for instance. All right, so we've downloaded the, the APK uh, locally. Um, now what we want to do is we want to throw the APK uh, somewhere on the public um, network. We're going to put it on the internet and it's going to be public facing and you'll be able to access it from any device. Um, so a good way I found to do that is to use Drop, uh, not Dropbox, Google Drive. Um, so I have Google Drive open here. I'm in a folder. I downloaded the APK locally and I'm going to upload it to my drive. So I'm just going to select it right here. Files don't tend to be too big, so it should upload fairly quickly. Um, so a quick note, you could use another service to host your file. You could host it yourself or you could upload it to another file sharing service. I just find Google Drive to be the best. Um, okay, now what we want to do is we want to get a link to our file. So let's come over here. Link sharing is on. Anyone with the link can view. Perfect. So we're going to grab this link. We are going to copy it. And what we're going to do, because the link's kind of cumbersome, it's a little long, let's shorten that link. So let's come back over to here and let's just do um, Google URL shortener. Uh, they have a tool that you can use. So we're just going to paste in our link here. No, I'm not a robot. Okay, so we got our new URL right here, which is really easy. And we're going to come back over to our virtual device. And we are going to open it. 
we're going to open Chrome, any web browser. And again, this is a new device, so it's prompting me for certain things. Come over to the URL bar, and we're just going to type in our URL. And then press enter. And then we'll just download that. Chrome hasn't been configured and we are going to allow downloads. So we'll just do allow. Seems like the APK is now downloading. And we can open if we want, so let's open it. Now it's prompting us to install. Let's install it. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, so now we have YouTube, and we should be able to just use it. Um, one of the cool things um, is the audio should work. Yep. Um, and now it's just on the phone. Um, YouTube is on the phone and we can use it. Um, other applications can use it too, which is pretty cool. Um, and like I said earlier, um, once you download an app onto your uh, virtual device, as long as you don't um, destroy that virtual device, you can uh, close it and um, restart the device and it'll always be there. So if I restart this, I just, um, I just destroyed it. I didn't save anything, but I did make a change to, um, to that device by downloading the app, restarting it. And I'll just show you guys. Okay, and it's there. So your apps will stick when you download them. Um, so the only thing that's interchangeable here is you don't have to use um, Google Drive to host um, the APK. You could throw it on another website, but I've found Google Drive to be the best. All right, guys, that's all I have today. So thank you.